That's me. Normally, I don't like telling stories, especially about myself. But this is an exception. See, I have a special power, hysterical strength, if you may call it. Also, if it weren't for this power, I wouldn't have been transferred to this private school. Hey, let me show you what I mean. Oh, where are my manners? Hi, my name is Mark Kurtz. You could call me Mark or Kurtz, you know, whichever you're more comfortable with. What's yours? Jack, please don't talk to me. Rough morning, eh? I can see it in your eyes, you know. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot all the elevators are not working today. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to break my kneecaps trying to climb the stairs. You know, like um, that, that one show about re rewinding time or something, you know? Hey, come on, man. We don't have all day waiting for the elevators to work. Let's go. My back's killing me right now. And I bet yours too, right? Can you not disturb me? You don't even understand my situation. So leave me alone. And this will teach you a lesson. And stay down! him alone. <laughs> oh look! Fresh meat! My name's Jack, and you're about to get jacked. Thanks a lot, man. Those were the bullies, you know, that the principals be telling us about. They, they, wear, they wear this mask, right? That like it's very hard for us to discover their identity. But anyways, uh, what's your class? Hmm. Two B G three. What really? What a coincidence. That's my class too. Come, I'll show you around. Let's go. Yo, you were super cool back there. How did you do that? You know, like the you were like the vigilante fighting in the city. You know. Yeah, that, that show, that show. Self-defense, class. Self-defense? No, no, no. There is no self-defense, man. You had like some super power, like moving Yes. He's here. Well, after that day, I made a friend. Very unlikely, yes. But apparently, I made one. Mark tells me that the power I have is not a curse, but rather a gift, and to use it for good. Every day after class, we would study more about my power, figuring out how to control it. He even sketches costumes for me on his notebook in class. We eventually became best friends in school, until one day, a ghost from my past came back to haunt me. Hey there, I'm sort of new here. Do you know the way around? Yeah, you know, I know this place like at the back of my hand. Like, for example, the staircase over there, right? One sentence in, and you're already annoying.
Hello? Hey, buddy. Remember me? I see that you found a friend, which is surprising. I never thought anyone wanted to be friends with a freak like you. You better not hurt him. If not, I swear I will. Oh, don't worry. I won't touch you. You, shut up. Meet me in the abandoned studio room. Or I will do worse to your little friend here. Be quick. Time's running out. my business. Let me through now. You're welcome to come in. Buddy, you arrived just in time for the final act. Let him go! Learned some new tricks since our last accomplishment. I've learned mine too. Let's continue where we left off, shall we? like to have so much power I feel unstoppable I feel powerful <gasps> no oh that's too bad but at least the annoying insect is gone more Jack, you're my only friend, my best friend. Thank you. 
Is where I realized that the possession of great power like mine necessarily implies great responsibility. Definitely not a ripoff quote I found online, but it's epic. But you know what? It's not a ripoff. My name, my identity, my outfit. My name is Stone. Jack Stone. Thank you